Bad report cards could soon be a thing of the past, at least in California. That's because some of the state's largest school districts are dropping D and F grades. Correspondent Nancy Liu is live for us in Los Angeles. So Nancy, explain how will this new grading system work? Here in California, some large districts such as LA moving to remove all report card grades below a C. Okay guys, so if you guys remember, that was a clip that we played about 10 months ago uh, in regards to schools and their grades and how it was a terrible idea that they were going to be removing failing grades, just passing people, um, especially you know due to pandemic reasons and all that stuff. And the reason I'm playing that clip again is because an investigative journalist in Baltimore um, just came out with some new findings on how almost 40% of the high schools have zero proficient children in math. More stunning findings by our Project Baltimore team after Fox 45 obtained unredacted state test scores for every school in Baltimore City. Now, these results have not yet been released to the public, but Chris Pavs has been analyzing them, and what he discovered is hard to believe, even at the highest performing schools in the city. What Project Baltimore discovered in these unredacted test results is a problem. Do you find it acceptable that there's 13 high schools in Baltimore City with no students proficient in math? No. At 13 Baltimore City high schools, not a single student who took the 2023 math exam in the spring scored proficient. Not one. It's sad and it's disheartening because today, more than ever, the school system has the money and the resources. We obviously are not doing enough. Now, we've covered this topic a few times on this channel, actually. Um, some people saying that math is transphobic, math is racist, 2 plus 2 can be 5 because it's not objective, even though it clearly is. That giving the children the ability not to have bad grades will actually help them in the long run because they won't have all this stress and pressure on them yet the newer generation is becoming dumber and dumber by the day we've all seen those videos where they go on the street and they ask kids basic questions like three times three times three or how many dimes in a dollar like kids today are just very stupid and nobody understands basic math or really any subject but you know it seems like other agendas like gender ideology and uh, you know, teaching them about sexual orientations. Those are the main things that people need to be learning when they're failing in basic skills and proficiency. And not only is, as that clip showed, is this happening in high schools, it's also happening in elementary schools. As elementary schools, you basically can't fail anybody. You can continuously give students zeros and they will progressively keep advancing through the through the grades up until grade eight and even graduating into high school, even though the proficiency level or their skill level is at a two grade two, three or four level, even though they're in grade, you know, seven, eight or six, seven. And here's some teachers that have been uh, voicing that. So I'm not really understanding why they're not telling y'all. Like, we all know that the world is behind, like, you know, globally, like, you know, because of the pandemic and stuff. But I don't understand why they're not stressing to y'all how bad it is. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, but these kids are... I'm going to just say this. I teach seventh grade. They are still performing on the fourth grade level. They still performing on the fourth grade level. Ain't nobody talking about how they just keep moving, passing them on. They just keep passing them on, 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 passing them on. I can put as many zeros in this grade book as I want to. They're going to move that child to the eighth grade next year. But ain't nobody talking about that. Why they not talking about that? Why they not telling y'all that y'all... And why don't y'all know that y'all kids not performing on their grade level? Why y'all don't know this? Why y'all don't know? Because y'all be quick to talk about, oh, the teacher this, the teacher this, the teacher. It's your job, it's your job, baby. I just got here 30 days ago. She was performing on the fourth grade level since fourth grade. You the teacher. You supposed to be, again, she's been on the fourth grade level since the fourth grade. We in seventh grade now. So you let this child go three years and you never knew that your child was still in the fourth grade. Ain't never left the fourth. Fourth grade is being nice. I still have kids performing on grade K, one, two, and third grade levels. I could probably count on one hand how many, many kids are actually performing on a grade level. So just imagine, you don't know that your child been on the second grade level since the second grade and they now in the seventh or eighth grade. Are you joking right now? And these are future leaders, our future doctors, our future nurses, our future... Please. Please. Now, it's super sad to see this. And again, this is in one state in Baltimore. 
But as you saw in the first clip, it's also in California and LA. These people are talking about, oh, it's the pandemic and the pandemic made things stressful. I, I can I can agree. At the time being, it was very difficult. You know, you had the online learning, you had the virtual learning, all that stuff. But as you can see in this clip, these problems were happening in Baltimore even prior, two to three years prior to the pandemic, where again, there was 13 schools that were not proficient. And you can't use the pandemic as an excuse for then. We found 13 city high schools where not one student who took the state math test scored proficient. Not one student. These are the 13 schools, which includes some of the city's most well-known high schools like Patterson, Frederick Douglass, and Reginald F. Lewis. In total, students at 33 high schools took the state math exam last spring. In our analysis, we are not including Eager Street Academy because it's located inside the Baltimore City Detention Center. Of the 32 high schools remaining, if 13 had zero students test proficient, that means 40% of all Baltimore City high schools could not produce a single student who's doing math at grade level. But that's not the only alarming finding we made. In these 13 high schools, more than 1,700 students took the test and nearly 1,300 or 74.5% scored a one out of four, the lowest level, meaning those students are not even close to being proficient. Six years ago, in 2017, Project Baltimore produced a similar report where we analyzed state test scores and found 13 city schools had zero students proficient in math. And many of the schools from 2017 are also on the 2023 list, including Achievement Academy, Coppin Academy, Frederick Douglass, New Era, Patterson, and the reach. City schools will not do an interview to discuss these results. Instead, we received a statement which states, we acknowledge that some of our high school students continue to experience challenges in math following the pandemic. The statement also said recent increases in funding have increased student achievement. The district says in seven of eight grade levels, math proficiencies increased in 2023 compared to 2022. Now to me, this is extremely sad to hear and see because this is the new generation that are coming up. These are the people that are gonna be in corporate jobs, you know, somehow. And again, a lot of things are automated with calculators and your smartphones and this and that. But how are you able to pass these kids and send them out into the future when again, they're at a fourth grade level and they're moving into grade eight? and then going into high school, and they still are not learning. And just like that teacher said, yeah, he's only had the kids for about 30 days, seeing as school just started in September. But I don't understand how these parents also aren't being involved enough where they don't understand that their kid is at a fourth grade level, but is in seventh or eighth grade. Now, maybe the, the parents themselves aren't as educated as they should be. You know, that's typically how it happens in the generations. Like, my mom, I'd say, wasn't as educated as I became, but your your next generation should continue to get more and more and more educated, not the reverse. And again, I'm not I'm not blaming teachers for this. This is a multifaceted problem, but it's really sad to hear that out of 33 or 32 schools, 13 of them have a zero proficiency, and then as he stated in the top five none of them have made it into the the level four category of understanding math to the degree that they should be understanding math but we didn't just find 13 city high schools with zero students who tested proficient in math we also looked at the city's top schools and what we discovered there may be just as alarming. According to the state test results, these are Baltimore's five top performing high schools in terms of math proficiency. At these schools, a combined 809 students took the state math test in the spring. 92 students tested proficient, meaning a total of about 11% of students are proficient in math 
at the best high schools in Baltimore. When Maryland public school students take the state test, their scores place them in one of four categories. Level one is beginning, all the way up to level four, distinguished. Of the 92 students who tested proficient in math at the five best Baltimore City high schools, all 92 tested into level three. There were no level fours. In fact, there was not one high school student in the entire city in math who achieved the highest level of proficiency. Now again, these are just my opinions. I, I see this and it makes my heart break, but as always, love to hear from you guys. Please let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks so much.